right, guys, we are in four loops in JavaScript. JavaScript. Um, does anyone who codes, for loops are crucial. Um, so in this case, we want to use five console log statements to print out numbers one through five. Um, okay, I guess this is kind of showing us why we would use a for loop. So that was pointless, but we'll keep it going here. Uh, the for loop in the code will print out the numbers 1 through 5. You use far less code than you used in the previous exercise. Change the 6 to 11 and press save and submit code. Alright, so we're going to change our counter to 11 and it should print out 1 to 11. Or 1 to 10, because it's not equal to it, rather. So there you go, 1 to 10. So now uh, the for loop starts off at 1 and will end at 10. Change the for loop such that it will start off at 5. So we're going to change our starting value i here to 5. And there you go, 5 to 10. So we're kind of getting the feel of how it goes. We know the for loop counts from 1 to 10. So it starts at 1 and goes to 10 because this isn't including 11. Change this for loop so that it starts at 4. So we're going to change our initial variable i to 4. And that it counts up to including 23. So, we will just change this to 24, run the for loop and see it count from 4 to 23. There we go. Alright, controlling the for loop. This code counts from the number 0 to 35. Make it start counting from 5. Alright, we know how to do that. Stop the counting when it prints out to 50. Change that to 51. Only count every fifth number, so we want to increment i by 5, so i equals i plus 5. Oops, excuse me. So this should make it so that it skips over 5. So 5, 10, 15, 20, good. Alright, so in this case we want to make it count by 8, or start counting at 8. Keep counting while i is still less than 120. And increment it by 12, so i equals i plus 12. Remember, if you accidentally make a loop that never ends, your browser will crash. Done that before. Alright, so you can see right here, it starts off at 8 increases by 12. Don't run the code without changing it. So, the reason this is an infinite loop is because i will always be greater than or equal to 1 because it starts off at 1 and increases so it'll never end. So that's why it crashes. <coughs> so we want to change this uh, our starting point to 10 and we want to stop once it gets to 0. And then in this case we're going to work our way down so i minus minus and then you can see it gets all the way down to zero alright so now we're gonna write our own very own for loop so we're gonna say for the countdown from 100 so we'll say i int, say i is equal to 100 and then we want to say while i is greater than zero and then we're going to say i is equal to oops i is equal to i minus five console.log i and that should work just fine and you can see it decrements itself by 5 
So it looks like we're going to be using arrays now in JavaScript. Arrays are just kind of like a collection of data types. Um, so in this case, we're going to use var. And then uh, let's see. They want us to create our own array called junk. Oops. Or junk equals an array. Uh, separate each. Uh, uh, put four bits of data in it, first two strings and two numbers. Alright, so we'll say Dylan and we'll say cat, separate it with commas, and then we'll go one one Dylan and I have two cats. So uh, no Notice the semicolon and no end comma. And then we will console.log jump. Semicolon. So that is, it prints out our array. Array positions. So in this case, print out the fourth element of the array. Start figuring out how to express what the fourth element in the array is. Remember, Everything starts at zero, unless uh, other told otherwise for the most part. So this goes zero, one, two, and three. So in this case, we want to do console.log, and then our junk data, and then we want to call an index point three, because zero, one, two, and three. Call our semicolon, and this should print out 31. There's our 31. So we're doing some more loops and arrays. So in this, they want us to change the elements in the city array. And you can put as many elements as you like. So we'll just put Los Angeles in here to add something to it. Uh, run the for loop and see them all printed out. So it's just showing us we're going to run this. Dot length takes the total length, the amount of indexes, and it's going to run it for this. So you can see that it ends on Los Angeles right here, which is our last one, and we're good to go. All right, so now we're going to create an array called names. So their names is equal to the bracket they arrays, filled with five names. All right, so Dylan. April, Milo, Tito, and my my original baby kitty baby. All right, so uh, we're then going to write a for loop uh, where i is equal to zero. Uh, Uh, we could do this a couple different ways. Um, we would, we should do i dot names while, while i is less than names dot length. That would work. This would also work. Um, or i. Uh, but the reason we're gonna do it like this is so that if anything changes, if uh, later on when your code gets more complicated, you don't have to go back and change your for loop. It'll just run for the length of your names array. So, um, we want it to print out. I know someone called space plus names. Bam, there's our five sentences, and there's our five array indexes. So that was our introductory part to for loops, a little bit of arrays, and uh, mixing all what we've learned in JavaScript so far. So as always, we're going to share it. Close that, and in this next section of for loops, we will be iterating through text to try and find uh, a certain part of it. 
So I'll see you guys next time.